All right, so there's some common functions that you can find in the catalog. The problem with using the catalog to, sign, to find some of these common functions are that there's a lot of stuff in the catalog. So um, the uh, TI-84 plus CE actually has a function menu. So if you, whoops, I messed up. If you click on the alpha, and then which is the green button on my calculator, and then the uh, button that says window, notice up here it says function two the function key, the second function key. Here's a list of common functions that you could choose or programs, and these are the ones that you use the most. Um, so the first one is absolute value. So now if uh, on the left, let me describe this too. Over here on the left, we have the classic mode, and on the right, we have the math print, which is uh, probably what most people would wanna use, but I'm gonna use the classic mode first. So I'm just gonna enter this in the calculator. Let's say I wanna know the absolute value of seven. There it is, boom. Um, and, and notice that the menu goes away right away. Uh, just a quick reminder, if I wanted to change my mode back to math print, so if I go to math print, hit enter, and now hit alpha F2. Now when I get this window, then I get the, um, absolute value, it'll look a little different. It probably won't go through. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. So now uh, it looks like regular absolute value brackets. So if I enter in negative nine, we all know that the absolute value of negative nine is just, oh, positive nine. Oh, do you see what I did there? Let's do this again. I put a minus sign instead of the negative sign. There is a slight difference. So I'm gonna choose the absolute value function and I gotta hit this button. See how the, the, the negative sign is a little bit shorter than the minus sign. It does make a difference. I did that on purpose for my students' sake. So anyways, if I want to take the absolute value of nine, now it'll work. So I got a syntax error because I used the wrong minus sign. Um, the shorter one is for negative numbers, where the, um, I guess you would call this the negative sign, and this would be the subtraction sign is one way to put it. So that's one of the functions. Um, so that's how you enter in the absolute value function. Now, if I wanted to graph an absolute value function, uh-oh, I'm left in the old mode, so I gotta go back and put my calculator on function mode, and then I would hit Y equals, ah, there we go. Same thing, I would hit alpha, F2, choose absolute value, and then I will put um, absolute value of X, um, let's do minus one. Okay, and then uh, when I'm done, I just hit graph. Well, bam, with the bacon sizzle, uh, there it is. That's the absolute value function using the uh, shortcut through the function menu.